the workshop which was held yesterday. And the workshop was coordinated by ICC Basis and the government of Kenya uh, on uh, implications of cloud computing. Under the definition of cloud computing, a number of uh, uh, issues were raised by the panelists. Uh, it occurred that uh, cloud computing is basically a new and emerging technology in computing where an organization has lease or outsource software applications from another company either within the country or outside the country. Cloud computing are also basically services on demand. Um, while the term cloud computing denotes uh, something new, it has its origins dating back to the early 1960s. Uh, so basically, it's not a technology revolution, but the revolutionary element is in its availability to individuals, extending use and sharing of applications and facilitating consumer to consumer interaction in new ways. Among the positive implications for consumers and businesses, it was also noted that identifying providers and evaluating them could be a difficult um, issue of cloud computing adoption. Using cloud computing requires basically a paradigm shift on the part of the IT experts as well as on the uh, part of the IT services uh, users. However, there are more benefits to using cloud computing than in providing the cloud itself. Some of the identified benefits of using the cloud uh, include inexpensive hardware, software, and <coughs> applications, and hence uh, low capital investments are the initial take up of the business. Inexpensive labor, again, was noted as one of the benefits. Uh, no need for software updates and upgrades headaches. No headache for investing in expensive disaster recovery uh, plans as well as business continuity plans because somebody else will take care of that uh, across the cloud. No headache on hardware and systems maintenance, among other benefits. Uh, for developing countries, it was noted that e-waste is becoming an increasing concern, basically due to lack of uh, uh, necessary policies and uh, laws, and cloud computing could be a solution because this requires uh, the developing countries not to invest heavily on hardware and applications, but instead uh, use minimal uh, IT equipments like mobile and so forth. Some of the identified uh, challenges in the utilization of cloud computing were limited awareness on the benefits of cloud computing, inadequate policies, laws, regulatory frameworks to support cloud computing, among them privacy laws, data protection laws, and so forth. And some concerns were how do you handle sensitive data, for example, governments who are known to protect a lot of their data. What happens when one loses data in the cloud? Where do you go? Do you go to your local laws or you go to international laws for mitigation? How do you choose a cloud, compu uh, cloud computing provider? Issues of trust, again, were highlighted. How do you change from one cloud to another? Are you sure that all your data has been migrated or not? Bandwidth limitations, again, were areas of concern, particularly within developing countries, lack of uh, sufficient power supplies, and so forth. Bandwidth costs, again, uh, lack of trust. How do you trust a company with your data? Complicated contracts, uh, basically laws to apply in the case of breach of contracts, and again issues of uh, taxation laws and so forth in the case of financial systems. In the conclusion and way forward, uh, it was felt that there is a need for continuous sharing of best practices on cloud computing issues, and particularly IGF offers a very good forum for this. Uh, a proposal that countries interested in the cloud services uh, of others could also negotiate bilaterally on issues of memorandum of understanding. And developing countries can also leapfrog and take up these services and reap from the several benefits of using the cloud, among other benefits. Again, developing countries can take advantage of high mobile penetration. And also, developing countries are encouraged to venture in the provision of the cloud services where possible, in case of high bandwidth and so forth. And with regard to regulation, it was felt that lawmakers should not presume the need for new laws because cloud is a new phrase. And the importance of harmonized laws and uh, issues of cybersecurity management were also highlighted. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. Kajim.